Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Klian de Kloster and I'm an artist, vocalist, musician here on the island of Curacao. Um, first of all, I want to thank you guys so so much for all the feedback I've received on the previous video. Not only that, the support and love for other people who shared, who liked, who subscribed. And for all the tips and tricks that I received during the past days has been unbelievable thank you so so much i really hope you guys like this video i've worked really really hard on it i've heard so many people say over and over that you know editing like is very hard you film a video for so many long hours and then you're sitting there editing for like so long and i was like yeah i know it's it's pretty long right but now that I'm doing it, I'm seeing how much work it is. So I really appreciate it if you guys, you know, share and like this video and watch it basically because I enjoyed making it and I really hope that you guys enjoy it too. So if you want to see how I created the look that I had in my previous video, just keep on watching. So we're going to start off with a moisturizer and SPF. SPF is very, very important to be putting on every single day before your makeup. I know SPF can like give some flashbacks, so if you're gonna be taking pictures, I don't think 100% SPF is gonna be good, but I've never had any issues with this one. This one is SPF 30, and you know, at least you have something. Like, this isn't what I would recommend for what you would need actually for the benefit of using SPF, but it's better to have something than to have nothing so in that case I feel like it's a good primer and I'm just gonna put on a little bit it's a moisturizer and SPF and it does smell like SPF and when you blend it in it goes in seamlessly so you don't have like you know white streaks or anything like that so the second step is I do go in with a primer water from Smashbox but at the moment, uh, I don't have it because sometimes I do my makeup in the car and apparently the bag is in the car and I'm not going to grab it in the car. So I'm going to use something that is kind of similar. It's Prep and Prime from MAC and this one is um, it's the Fix Plus. So this is a special packaging but it's just the Fix Plus. So and as you can see, my face is wet and I just... I don't have time to wait for it to dry, so... And the consistency you're looking for for your face to be is like a little sticky or tacky. I'm gonna go into the foundation and I have several foundations that I love. This one is one of them. This is from Clinique and it's the foundation and concealer in one. And what I really like about it is that it has a doe food applicator like this so you can like swipe it on I really like it I'm gonna put that one as a concealer you can say and this one is dead on my shade like match me perfectly since I'm getting a little bit more tan uh, I've been going to the beach a lot I feel like I've develop a little bit of color and then I am in the color maple sugar 4 and 3 I'm gonna show, be showing you guys what I use to apply my foundation because it's not a brush and it's not a sponge uh, it's a new product that Tati from YouTube just came out with it's the it's from Tati Beauty it's the blendable I immediately purchased it because I was intrigued I do usually put my makeup on with a beauty blender, like the original beauty blender. But as soon as this one came out, I was intrigued and I tried it out. And girl, if you're thinking about buying it, definitely buy it. This changed everything for me. And you can use this for your entire face. Like this is going to take place of every single brush that you use. Um, except for eye makeup. You can see how well this applied it. Super smooth. My trouble area is this right here. I've been breaking out like hormonal breakouts. I get hormonal breakouts only on this side though. 
and yeah i have a lot of like discoloration because of it it's very annoying but that's what i like to cover with foundation so after i have that on i'm going to powder my face there's two powders that i like so i'm going to show you both of them this one is from Laura Mercier and it's a good powder. It's translucent. It's a good powder if you are oily, definitely invest in your powder. Like two things, if you're oily, two things you need to invest in is a good powder and a good primer because that's gonna make, the primer is gonna make the foundation stick on it and stay better and to avoid getting oily, you need a good powder. So I highly, highly recommend investing in that because on the island being oily like extremely oily on an island who's that's always warm it's very tough so you definitely need something like this so i'm using like i use this side for my for the liquid and i'm gonna use this side i'm gonna like flip it like this i'm gonna flip it like so and i'm gonna dip it into the powder to set my face and this powder is different so i don't think you can be using like regular powder that you see on the island this powder is like specific but i'm going to show you the other powder that i use as well this one is a little bit more heavy duty I get really oily but if i'm like out and about like i need something to lock in my makeup for the entire day that that is when i use this and if i just need something that looks lightweight like you hardly have makeup on and it looks nice it's gonna look nice for like if i'm gonna be out for up to four hours i would use this one this is from too faced you can't find it here on the island thank god and it's um it's called too faced born this way ethereal setting powder um, translucent as well it's very it's more lightweight i feel like like you can your skin can breathe this one is a little bit more like it's definitely heavy duty for those days you do not want to get oily i'm gonna do my eyes now and then we're gonna finish up with contouring blush and all that mama jamas for eyes i'm gonna be using this palette it's called the Jaclyn hill it's the latest palette that came out this year um uh, volume two and I was very intrigued about it because I'm going to show you how it looks like. If you want to review about this palette, um, let me know and I'll review it. I did want it to make like a video because I don't know if there's a lot of makeup lovers here on the island. I think so. I don't know. But you let me know um, in the comment down below. And you'll definitely make a video because I do order a lot. And I do love makeup. So I do order a lot of stuff. And I do want to make a review about, you know, everything that launched, I feel like, the late 2019 to now. Um, I do want to make a review and tell you what is worth it to buy or not. But this is what I'm going to be using. And I think I'm going to be focusing on these shades right here because these <laughs> i'm gonna use a fluffy brush you can use whatever brush you want and i'm gonna dip into the shade let's see i'm gonna go into perfectionist If you have hooded eyes like me, like see, you can hardly see anything. But I did put a lot of product on. So one tip I can give you is looking straight and apply the product so that you can see. You can see the product and then you know you have a guideline of where you have to blend it, you know? And just go back and forth here. And I highly, highly recommend um, Morphe products because they're still cheap, but you're still gonna get, you know, something good out of it. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh, this looks bomb personal, but I feel like on the video it doesn't look good. But whatever. 
We're just gonna continue, right? <clears throat> okay, so I've blown out this first shade up to there. I'm gonna go into a deeper shade. And I feel like I wanna go into, I'm gonna go into thick skin, and it's this one right here. So we're gonna go a little bit lower. So this time I'm actually going to my crease. Your crease is where you feel that your eyeball is denting. Like this is your crease. This is your crease. But you see, since I have hooded eyes, I have to create a fake crease. So now I'm actually going to my actual crease with a darker shade. We do the same thing on the other side. Oh, my hands already hurt. I'm gonna go back into Perfectionist, which was the lighter shade, and we're gonna blend out and blow out all of this. I think this looks really nice. Like, personally, it looks really nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in. Mm, let's see what I wanna go into. You know, strangely, I do wanna go into Empowered. It's this shade right here. This one right here. I'm gonna go into Empowered. Ooh. It's like a, it's like a beautiful ruby pink. I know, it's very, very pretty. I'm gonna go into it my finger. <gasps> oh my God, it's so pretty. Whoa, this shade is pretty. I'm gonna pack it onto the eyelid. The more I pack it, the more I love it. It's very pretty. Again, same thing I'm gonna do on the other side. I don't know if you can see how pretty that is. That is really pretty. I feel like personally, my makeup looks bomb, but when I look in the viewfinder, it looks like crap. I love this palette, but now I am like super shook. My fingers are getting everywhere, so I'm getting a little bit carried away and applying this everywhere. So, not good. We're overreacting a little bit, Cleanza. I'm gonna go back into Perfectionist and try to try to salvage. Okay, I'm gonna go back into thick skin and go through the crease one more time. My idea with using that shade was that I was gonna use something lighter to make it pop. So now I feel like I wanna go into Trauma Queen is the shade right here. And I'm gonna pop it into the center. I applied Trauma Queen on the center and it looks bomb. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna be going back and forth because I don't like finish with the face and then finish with the eyes and then finish with everything else. But I want you guys to see, you know, progress. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a brow so that you can see, you can start seeing improvement. Just make sure you don't look sparse or anything. For me, the brows is done already. Uh, I am gonna comb it out. You can use any brush. I'm using this one. Just comb it out, make it smooth and nice. Just like that. And that is how, to me, my brows are done. Okay, I wanna continue with the eyes. Um, as you can see, I do have a little bit of like fallout over here, so we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix that girl. 
I do want to go into a darker shade because I feel like I need a little bit more depth. Um, so we're going to grab now, we're going to be going into a more tapered brush. And I'm going to be using, I'm going to use this. This is a more tapered brush. It's not as fluffy. So I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to go into crazy. This shade right here. Second to last. It's very deep. And I make sure that I don't have loose particles. And I like really focus on the outer V. You know, you don't want to make a mess. So I feel like this is a very nicely blended and I need to fix down here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply a little bit of this. So that's why sometimes, like see, I didn't know what I was going to do. Because if I knew I was going to be using dark shades. Because remember at the beginning, I said I was going to use these. But now I've used already like a few shades down here. So when you're using darker shades, make sure you know you do your eyes first because you're gonna do you're gonna make a little mess. I mean, not always, but it could be. And I, oh. So now it's looking like that. And now I'm gonna be applying a black liner to my eyes and I'm using the Kat Von D which now it's not called Kat Von D anymore it's um KVD Beauty or I don't know something like that I'm gonna do a wing this is just practice makes perfect like honestly, I don't have any tricks when it comes to wing. You just have to practice. Okay, so I did my eyeliner um, out of camera. So now I'm going to be applying my mascara. And I always go back and forth first. And yep, that's this the face. This is the face that's going to make you get a boyfriend. Um, so then I coat every hair strand going back and forth. And then we're going to go straight just like I'm gonna show you right now. Um, I'm gonna finish up with underneath of my liner. And I need like a color. I think I wanna do something popping, like something different. I feel like I wanna use heart on. So let's try it out. I mean, it's a very like neon-y um, pink. And I want to show you guys um, another technique that I like to use. I like to grab a brush like this and grab some highlighter and pop it right here. I'm gonna go back into this and I'm gonna go into Hula Caramel and add some color to the cheeks.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was entertaining or informative or you learned something. I'll try to link the products that I used down below. But I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like this video, subscribe, hit the bell no notification so that you're notified when I do post videos. Let me know down below in the comments what type of video you want to see next. And I hope to see you guys pretty soon.